everyone welcome to the channel welcome to angel love 333 hope everybody is doing great we're going to do your reading here in a moment just a couple things here while i get started um, everything you need to know about my channel is in the description box there will be an extended reading link below if this reading resonates with you you can check it out um, also below, uh, details on how to win a free personal reading. Uh, basically, you just have to be a subscriber, like the video, and leave a comment. And then lastly, I have started posting uh, videos to my uh, Meditation, Relax, and Calm channel. Uh, a lot of different variety of calm um, meditations to listen to if you'd like to check it out details are below so thank you for all of your support i do appreciate you and let's get started with your reading all right virgo let's get started here with your reading what does virgo need to know what does virgo need to know in love what does virgo need to know all right okay i don't know how that got upside down i must have my deck upside down got the three of swords we got the full card with the two of pentacles king of pentacles we have the seven of wands the seven of pentacles we have um, the queen of cups we got the page of cups there and we have the three of cups and bottom of the deck here we have the knight of pentacles all right i feel um virgo um showing up in your recent past is the three of swords we have the king of cups and we also have i'm um, king of pentacles and the queen of cups and with that energy virgo what i see there is that I feel like there was a situation where things were not emotionally stable between you and someone. Definitely picking up. There could have been some heartbreak. There could have been some, you know, distrust or betrayal. Uh, for some of you, it could even be a third party situation. Picking up Capricorn, Taurus, uh, or Virgo, your energy, or a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, somebody here you could be dealing with. Now, you have here, I'm going to clarify probably that three of swords to see why, you know, what happened there. We have the full card, we have the seven of wands, and we have the page of cups. I feel Virgo, for some of you, there could be somebody new, somebody that is interested, somebody who's coming towards you, can also be this person here too, right? Making some sort of gesture, maybe even an apology. I do feel like um, this is a chance for you to move on from whatever situation this was that was hurtful or caused you uh, some pain, you know, hurt. Uh, emotionally we have the two of pentacles here we have the seven of pentacles and we have the three of cups um, in your near future energy so it feels like there is going to be some communication here i see you communicating with somebody this could you like i said could be somebody new with this three of cups so it could be maybe you're out dating again or having fun or someone asks you out uh, with that page of cups energy there uh, definitely I feel it's a more uh, emotionally fulfilling energy than what I'm seeing here so I definitely get you are connecting with someone um, and like I said it could be this person that you know things um, were not emotionally stable in the past or there was some sort of hurt I see though with the seven of pentacles and the two of pentacles here it's almost like you're weighing your options right what do I do here in the situation knight of pentacles on the bottom of the deck I feel like there is some sort of message or um, change here that's about to happen and here's the queen of pentacles your energy here okay so let's clarify let's see what some of these energies are and then we're going to pull some more cards so why is the three of swords here please why is the three of swords here please this is what happened already in the past why is the three of swords here please okay we've got the six of pentacles we have the nine of pentacles 
We have the hangman and we have, okay, the six of pentacles, the nine of pentacles, the hangman and the page of wands. So what I pick up there, Virgo, is I feel like you were dealing with somebody here. Um, you know, I feel like this was someone who wasn't definitely giving you stability. For some of you, this person wasn't offering anything more than being casual. Um, I feel like this could be somebody who was taking you for granted, maybe even breadcrumbing you, and really felt like you were in uh, limbo with this person. And so I feel like this person here too, for some of you, could have been giving their time and attention to something else, a third party situation. Now that can be anything. You know, that could be right with this King of Pentacles, could be somebody who's very focused on their money and their career, right? And, you know, I do pick up an energy of somebody here, right? They were keeping things casual or, you know, they weren't really giving you a whole lot in this connection or relationship. Now, um, we have the Fool, the Seven of Wands, and we have the Page of Cups. I'm going to first start with that Seven of Wands because I see progress. I see overcoming um, some sort of obstacle or obstacles here. Why is the seven of wands here, please? Okay, we got the page of pentacles, the two of wands. Okay, seven of pentacles. Bottom of the deck here, we have the five of wands. So what I see here, Virgo, is I see, interesting enough, we have two pages now. Some of you may be already talking to somebody new or there may be somebody flirting with you um, that is in the picture or upcoming here because it is showing in the current energy. I feel like you're going to have more than one invitation or date or someone wanting to connect with you. And I feel there's an opportunity here for you um, to change the situation if you want it to, to move in a new direction because it feels like in the past there was somebody here that they weren't giving a whole lot and it wasn't making you feel good is the energy that I get. So I feel there's somebody new here. Um, I feel also you're going to hear from this person. That's why there's a decision here with the crossroads. So I'm going to say here, Virgo, some of you are going to say, well, I don't want anybody from the past. Well, if you don't want anybody from the past, then what I would say to that is that you need to cut ties with the past. You need to make good with the past, let go, forgive, heal. Um, also know what your intention is, because I do see there's a, new, uh, a newer energy here, um, either this page of pentacles or this page of cups here. Okay, so it could be another earth sign or water, definitely picking up strong earth and water here in this reading so far, but they could be any sign. Let's see why the page of cups is here. Why is the page of cup? You got three pages here. So I feel either this is someone that you've been dealing with and they haven't given a whole lot or it's you definitely have new energy here. Let's see why the Page of Cups. Okay, Three of Swords. Seeing that Three of Swords, Five of Wands. Yeah, okay. And the Four of Wands. So either you are in a relationship with this person or this is somebody that you saw yourself in a relationship with. This person is aware what you wanted, but in the past, they didn't give you what you were looking for. They weren't on the same page with you. And I feel like they have regrets here. Here is that page of cups. They may even feel like um, they may even know because we got the three of cups here. Maybe they feel that you are seeing other people or dating other people. But this person's coming back around. They have regrets. They're going to try and feel the situation out, see how you respond. Maybe even, um, you know, give you an apology. Uh, may not be everyone here. Okay, so let's see why the actually let's go to the two of pentacles because there's a choice here a decision here for you Virgo and I see you weighing your options because I feel like even though right you're going to hear from this person you're not still still you're not completely satisfied here I feel with the seven of pentacles all right. Now, in the extended, we'll dive deeper into what they're thinking, feeling about you, their actions, their intentions, all of that. And we'll look into the energy of the next three weeks, all right? But right now, I see this person, you know, kind of just taking a step towards you, trying to connect with you. And I see, um, I feel like there is also possibly for some, maybe not all, another person here. 
Okay, so we're clarifying that two of pentacles. Okay, yeah, you got the full card here, all right? So I see you weighing your options. Um, you do have the world, you have uh, the Knight of Wands, and you have the Ten of Cups. There's an opportunity, I feel, here for you, Virgo, to walk towards new love. But I feel like this person, this other person here, either keeps popping up in your life, could be an on and off situation, or this person is coming around. And um, sorry, um, I think my sage um, is bothering my nose here. Either this person is coming around and you're going to have to make a decision or choice. Now you got the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands is not always bad because it can be new love. It can be somebody new coming in, your next love, your new, a new lover. Um, you know, you do have Ten of Cups and you have the World card here. Now distance could be a factor um, in your decision making here, but I also get the energy here too. This is, you know, it may be like you don't know if you want to start a new cycle with this person or you want to continue, right, looking towards new love or maybe you're just going out and having fun with friends. Maybe you're not looking for love right now, right, but you probably wouldn't be watching this reading. But I get the energy here, right, with this Three of Cups. Let's see why that Three of Cups is here. Why is the Three of Cups here, please? Why is the Three of Cups here, please? Okay, we got the Seven of Swords. We got the Ace of Cups. The Nine of Wands. And we got the Ace of Wands. Look at that. Ace of Cups, Ace of Wands. I told you I feel two energies here. And we have the four of pentacles okay so i feel like you know virgo you're much wiser now i feel when it comes to love is what the the reading is showing me and i feel like you're really taking a more practical um approach i also get here to you're wanting somebody that you can have a strong foundation with and so i really feel like you know with this four of pentacles you're really being practical you're really being logical about this and as I said, um, you got the Seven of Swords, you got the Ace of Cups, you have the Nine of Wands, and you have the Ace of Wands. Okay, I just, yeah, Nine of Wands, Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups. So two Aces there here with this Three of Cups. So I feel like you're going to have, again, more than one opportunity. There's an opportunity here with somebody I feel that... Um, has been very imbalanced in your life or on and off in your life and I feel like there's somebody new now some of you it could just be the idea that I'm going to move forward and I'm going to move towards new love um, because this person hasn't really had a lot to offer or to to give in this situation I'm just going to pull three cards and see what the possible outcome is here for you, Virgo, and then we will take it to the extended, and we will talk about uh, your person, this person, uh, where things have been imbalanced to see where that is going over the next three weeks. All right, let's see here. Okay. So we have the Magician on the bottom of the deck, all right? So what I see here, you got the Nine of Wands, you have the King of Wands, and you have the Six of Swords, okay? So I feel like this person here, um, <laughs> they're feeling pretty beat up for some reason. Now, I don't know, you know, with that Seven of Wands in the center of the reading, it could be that you block this person. Uh, it could be that you pulled your energy back and now you're, you know, going out with friends, having fun or, you know, pursuing new love. But I feel like this person is kind of beat up, right? And they know that they need to take some sort of action towards you. Now, you got the Six of Swords here. Like I said, there could be distance here. So this could be somebody who may be planning to do, um, you know, make some travel plans with you or try to make some travel plans with you, but I also get here too, this is someone who wants to be able to uh, make things better, okay? Make things better here and take some sort of action, I feel here, 
Um, you know, even though there's no cup energy, I do feel like this person here, they definitely have regrets. And I feel like this is someone who probably doesn't show a whole lot about how they feel. They're more about their actions, but I feel like they want to make things better here. Okay. They're trying to manifest you back into their life is what I see here, whether, you know, you want it or you don't. If you don't, you know, you got somebody else here, I feel, coming into your life. So you could be actually dating two people at once, I see here, right? Because you do have an Ace of Cups and you have an Ace of Wands here, okay? So Virgo, let's take it to the extended. I hope to see you there. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening. And I'm sending you angel love.